Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build my vending machine version 2.0. So, in the past, I made a vending machine and it only allowed you to select three items. Well, now I'm actually using a different method and if you know about the item frame decoder, uh, it basically allows you to select up to eight items and I decided to use that in this next version of the vending machine because I wanted to make it so you could purchase more, basically. So, how this works is we just basically select our item um, by pointing this arrow here at the item that we want. So, maybe we want to get um, this polished diorite down the bottom there, so it would make the arrow face towards that item frame. Then we basically throw in an emerald and we'll get a little confirmation sound of the purchase and then if we look up in the top here we've got a polished diorite so maybe we might get the the, the grass block here so we'll make the arrow point up to the top there throw in an emerald and then as you can see we have now got the grass block so that is really awesome and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build this now so what you are going to need is 32 redstone dust 10 redstone torches 20 redstone repeaters, 4 redstone comparators, 1 block of redstone, 14 hoppers, 9 droppers, 1 chest, 9 item frames, 10 note blocks, and 64 blocks of your choice. Now I just got some extra blocks for decoration at the end. Now the first thing that we are going to do is build the payment system to our vending machine. So this is kind of like the trade shop and you have, if you are familiar with the trade shop build um, you would know what I'm doing right now. So we need to dig down three blocks, place a chest at the bottom then place two hoppers on top. Then we're going to dig forward down two blocks, dig another two and then dig down three. To the left of this hopper dig down two and then dig down three in the front here another three and then two and then you want to get your redstone comparator and we're going to place it on this block here coming out of this hopper redstone repeater redstone down in the hole here then we're going to get our block of our choice and just place it on top like that redstone torch on this front side of this block repeater going into this block here and then a piece of redstone dust on top. Now to the left of this comparator, dig out that block and then dig the one under it. Place a redstone block down and then one piece of redstone dust on top of that. Then you want to place a block diagonally left to this block here, so one there and then a piece of redstone dust on top of there. Now we're simply just going to cover this back up for now but we'll have to go back in there later. Now we're going to build the selection wall, so one block before this one here and just on the top here, one, two, three, and then place two on either side, and then one at the top there, and then I'm just going to get one of my logs here and place it in the middle. And then place your nine hoppers on this wall, oh, not nine hoppers, nine item frames I meant. Now come around the back and what we're going to do now is build the decoder for the item frame, so this basically translates the... Um, rotation of the item frame there to an individual redstone signal so we can uh, select which item we want to dispense out. So what we're going to do is get one of our blocks of choice. We're going to place it um, above this redstone here. And then we're going to place two like that, one here, two like that, and then one here. So we want to get a redstone comparator, make it go into this block here, put one there, make it go into there, and then this one facing towards the back on that block. Then we're going to extend this out 8 blocks, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We're going to place redstone on top of those 8 blocks we just placed. Then get your redstone repeaters and what we're going to do is place them on the left side of this block on the ground here. Place blocks in front of them. Then we need to place blocks on top of the repeaters, so just crouch and then right click so you don't mess with the uh, the tick delay. Then we're going to place some more repeaters but on these blocks here and put redstone on top of these blocks at the top here. Now in front of all these repeaters we're going to place a block 
So again, crouch and then right click the front of the repeaters and place eight of your redstone torches underneath on that face of the block there. Make sure it's not on the ground. We're going to get our droppers and we're going to place them facing upwards on top of these end blocks here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And our last dropper, we'll place it here. Make sure it's facing sideways as well. Now get out your hoppers and we want to place two going into this dropper over here. So one, two, then come over to the right side of that and then bring this all the way back until we get to the end. Now make sure all the funnels are actually leading to that dropper over there. So that's going into there, it's going into there, that corner one's going into this one, this one here is going into there, and then obviously to the dropper here. Now on top of these repeaters, we're going to place some more blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And as said before, make sure you are holding crouch. And then on top of this redstone here, we'll place eight more blocks. And we're going to have to start using the dirt here. So just place that at the end. Then we're going to put redstone all along here on that bottom layer of blocks. This here is just to make sure that it doesn't connect up with this redstone down the bottom. Now you get your last redstone torch and we're going to place it on top of this block here. Then we're going to place three blocks like that and then one coming across like so and then place your four remaining redstone on top of those blocks and it should be now connected up with this redstone that we just placed a minute ago. Now last but not least what we've got to do is add our note blocks to it so simply get them all out and we're going to simply just place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then come around the other side and we're simply going to place a block here and then get our note block, place it on top of this comparator here, make sure you crouch when you place it, so boom, run, one right there, then a block here and then the other note block on top of there and our remaining two redstone repeaters make this redstone here go into that um, note block there and then this repeater should be powering this end note block as well and then just get rid of the, rid of the dirt under it. Now we need to configure the vending machine, so what we've got to do now is come back to here. As I mentioned at the start, we're going to have to be coming back to here. We're going to have to con configure the payment for the vending machine, and what we're going to do is use emeralds. So we're going to get 63 emeralds, and then you're also going to need to get four, uh, four non-stackable items, so we're just going to be using beds, and I just got rid of those emeralds. There we go. So you want to put the emeralds in the first slot and the four beds in the remaining four slots of that bottom hopper. Now we can cover that back up now. And then you'll need to place some items in these hoppers. So you can select what um, item you want to be the selector here. So I'm actually just going to do an arrow because that is actually the best because this initial um, direction here, this initial item frame at the top here is actually the first dropper over here so it's best to get an item that is facing diagonally up to the right there so you could use a sword uh, what else could you use you could use a stick kind of wouldn't really give you the right direction um, mainly a uh, an arrow is the best to use here then in these slots we're just going to put um, a range of blocks so we'll just do the first eight on the top here so the first will be stone then granite polished diorite polished diorite andesite, polish, andesite, and then grass, and then we'll do that same order in here. So for the first dropper, put in your stone, then the granite, polished andesite, diorite, polished diorite, andesite, polished andesite, and then grass at the end here. And we are ready to go now. What I'm going to do real quickly is just place some oak logs on the side here. So one, two, three one two three then when you get my fences here place three like that we're gonna place two logs either side of the dropper in the middle here and then get our stone slabs and we're gonna create a little kind of um, roof here with the uh, slabs And that is looking really nice. So let's go ahead and test it out now. So we're going to select the polished andesite at the top left there. So spin it around until the arrow is facing it. And then we're simply going to throw in an emerald. 
and as we can see when we open up the dropper here at the top we will get our polished andesite so how awesome is that so it's that time in the tutorial where I'm going to teach you guys how it works and I'm going to start with the item selector here so basically we are getting the signal strength from the item rotation in this item frame here so depending on the rotation of the item it's going to give out a different strength and what we're doing is we're actually decoding this strength into basically an individual item or a redstone signal so right now the signal strength is at 7, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and it's only reaching up to here. Now you'll notice at the bottom here, all the redstone repeaters to the seventh one is powered, and this is basically turning off all these redstone torches under here, so it's turning off the first seven. Now on this second set of repeaters here, we've only got the first six powered, and the seventh one isn't powered, so this means that... Um, this block in front of us isn't powered at all but because down here the redstone torches up to the seventh one isn't powered at all this means that this block here that this redstone repeater is going into can be powered and that allows the dispenser or the dropper here to actually um, drop an item into this hopper above um, this last one here as you can see we've got this repeater off but the redstone torch under it is on so if this redstone was to power this um, dropper here, it can't because it's actually already being powered um, by this redstone torch below and that has to turn off before um, this dropper can drop an item again. So that's basically a quick explanation of how this decoder works. So guys, that's going to wrap up this tutorial today. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more tutorials like this, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be posting a lot more really soon. Um, if you have any ideas for redstone tutorials or contraptions or anything like that, let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can make something for you guys. And that'll be it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.